Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. Man, are we talking about how people show up ain't looking like they show up? Yo. Uh, I mean, we can talk about whatever you want, brother. It's, it's, it's your world, and I'm here with you. Oh, man, I like it. No, but like, spoiler alert, yesterday we talked about some stuff. We talked about stuff? About how people show up and they don't look like they're supposed to. Did we talk about that? I thought we, we talked about me pooping my pants at the end of the episode. <laughs> we took it. We 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 tangented. <laughs> we tangented. Mo, uh, what was yesterday's? I don't even remember. We just uh, anyway. A lot yes. of innuendo. Poop pants. Okay. What Korean Jonas, barbecue. What Jonas is getting at is that me and Jonas have been on some Tinder dates or some OK Cupid dates or some look blind Whatever. dates. We're Whatever, blind. dude. Some, some online couple, dating dates. Yeah, we've been on a couple blind dates, and you know, with any of those sites, those people, aren't blind dates though. I mean, <laughs> they pretty much. <bruh. laughs> hey, okay, you never know what you're gonna get. That's what I'm getting at. They're, they're roulette dates. Exactly. So with those, usually people have to, you know, have a picture up there. And you expect that when you meet the person, they look somewhat like their picture. I'd give it like, I'd give a standard deviation of 10% I'd be acceptable with. Bro, I thought I was going on a date with a white girl and an Indian man showed up. <laughs> Not like Native American Indian. I mean, like his, his name was Hassan. And I was like... This is not what I signed up for. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, that's happened to me, too. Why don't you give an example? I went out mm -hmm. with a person. <laughs> <laughs> Similar to your example. I thought it was a real person. Showed up. It's half a person. Half a person? That's it. Yeah, that's funny. Whenever my dates show up, there's more person. It's half. It's it's it's, it's point five more person than I thought was from the picture I saw. Yeah, man, that's that's hilarious. Well, I think I've told the story before. You get half of your person. I get. I got the other half. I mean, I yeah. got one point five. I mean, I think. I, I mean, I, I've had some where like. Sometimes it's two people. It's like you show up and like. Their hair is all different. They're like, it's like, if you're going to try to put your stuff on a dating site, why wouldn't you put a picture that represents what you look like now? Yeah. Like, whether it's like, whether it's like, you've lost a bunch of weight, you gained a bunch of weight, you shaved off your beard, you grew a beard, you changed your hair color, you changed your hair length, any of it. Like, why would you, why would you, if you had long hair, and all your pictures have long hair, and then you show up on the date and you got short hair. Like, why don't you have a picture of yourself with short hair on the dating site? Like, why? Why wouldn't you do that? Like, why would you just like be like, oh yeah, I just figured I put all these old ass pictures up on the date. Not that that's a big deal, but like, I mean, some. I mean, yeah. Like, I mean, there's people that are like, I don't want to date a girl with short hair. I don't want to date a guy with long hair. Like, whatever. Or we do have a haircut like mine. It's like a buzz cut, and I show up for the date, and I got goddamn shoulder length hair. They're like, this is weird. I don't want to date no GD hippie. <laughs> you make a lot of valid points I mean just I mean I don't know to me it speaks volumes about your self esteem okay and how you feel about yourself okay do you why, why, do, why, do you, why do you think that why because how does, it, how does it speak volumes of your self esteem to put what you would consider the best potals of yourself out there because isn't that what everybody does but if it doesn't look like you no more it ain't your best photo it's still a picture of you. In spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at one point. In spirit. I mean, like, oh, I mean, how would you feel? How do you, do you think that's not a reflection? Like, if you don't put up a, a picture, and I'm not even saying it has to be from today when you set up your account. Mm -hmm. Within the last three to six months, as long as there's not been a major change, mm -hmm. major change, hair color, hair length, weight, you lose a goddamn arm. Whatever it is, if something major, if like if you would go to a ra the, what do they say? If it's if a reasonable person would mm. be like, what the fuck? I figure that's the line. Mm. You got ass length hair. You show bald. Somebody's like, oh, mm. you know, you skinny as shit. You gain fifty pounds. That's a way different personality. Or way different body type. You you weigh 300 pounds, you show up weighing 200 pounds. Like, that's opposite. 
Yeah. You know, like some people are attracted to, to bigger bodies. You show up skinny, they're like, what the hell? And vice versa. People are attracted to thin bodies. You show up big, they're like, what the hell? You show up, you got two arms in all your photos. You show up, you got one arm, they're like, what the hell? Like, it's just, I figure there's certain, like, how do you feel? Does that not sound, is that crazy? I don't think that's crazy. I've come to the point now where it's kind of like the whole, like, fool me once, shame on, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. If the same person did it. No, man. So it's you the just same assume situation. everybody doesn't look anything like their photos at it? Bruh, the reason that we, when we drive in the streets, that we're cautious is because we know that potentially a problem could happen. So when I enter a situation where I know potentially there could be some catfishing because we both have experienced multiple times. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah, then I expect it to a certain degree. So... What do you think is over the line for photos, like on a dating site? Like, what I is mean, your like? What I just went through a gambit of what I think. What yeah, do you yeah, think? yeah. A hundred percent that all the things you brought up are definitely on on the list, and I think that people should be more forthcoming about that. But I think it's it's a difference in like moral fiber versus you can't expect yourself out of others. So I I just don't. I expect everybody to lie. I expect yeah. what it really is, is. I expect everybody to lie to me. And then I expect to go here and I expect act to like you'll believe anything. Yeah. And if, and honestly, if I go in and the person looks exactly like their pictures, I would be more surprised. Yeah. To be, to be completely honest. Uh, I, yeah. Whenever I go on a date, I expect for them to like, for me to show up and them to just like all of a sudden not be interested in me anymore. And I expect for them, to, me to show up and them not be who they are were in their photos yeah, yeah 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 the thing that really kind of freaks me out is like when you when you match with like a girl and there's like a gambit of like just so many different photos like they got they got purple hair in one it's long they got short pink hair in another they got half their head shaved in another they got in one picture they're kind of chubby in one picture they're kind of thin and you're like who the hell is showing up on this date <laughs> i don't know i don't know who i'm like i have definitely matched with someone and been like what color is your hair now and then they're like, oh, it's pink. And I'm like, oh, that must be what they look like now. And nope, sure isn't. Nope. It's like, I just don't get it. Like, do you just want to show that you have, like, a variety of, how, of your look? Like, you, like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it's, it's, so, it's so crazy to me because it's like you're looking at it like it's like the, like the Amazon store, uh, online store. It's like, I ordered this. This is what I want. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, but, no, but didn't you say didn't was that I, I swear this was you that you like had like you met a girl and you had a beard in your pictures and you showed up shaved and she like oh acted yeah negatively I never met it. I never met her so yeah okay so this actually happened to me I yeah. uh, and all of my on all of my pictures I had a beard but I I was doing my own beard and I effed it up. Like I'd make. Oh, like, like you were trimming it, made a mistake. I made an error, and it was like one of those unrecoverable well, errors. That happens. And I mean, then it was just like, all right, so I guess I gotta shave off a major part of my beard. And then I was like, oh, it looks worse. And I ended up shaving off the whole beard. And with my whole beard off, I look like a thirteen-year-old uh, sexual offender. Wow. So I, you know, I sent her a picture like, hey, look, I shaved my beard off, and she never contacted me. <laughs> <laughs> that's so wrong too though is it? i mean you know it wasn't what she ordered i mean it's like it's like i thought i was getting a purple raft it came and it was turquoise yeah, yeah, yeah. i thought it had a pillow turns out it doesn't yeah like, I, I, look i honestly i can't people flake out on that website so much oh absolutely or on, yeah. on the dating website so much and people lie about their appearances so much it's honestly it's a toxic way to so start toxic but there's always a chance i can't i can't sit up here and lie and say is that when i opened up my plenty of fish account or you remember pof oh, plenty yeah, of fish? Yeah. I'm, it's still around the very first person that i matched with and uh i went on a date with i ended up being in a five-year relationship with so oh, damn so i can't sit up here and say is that it's it's a total fallacy that you can that you can find to meet somebody who's worthwhile you just gotta keep going man and realize that everybody's a lie all right i mean you ain't you ain't wrong it's not the amazon the online web store no you no. are not gonna get what you ordered well i mean i met my ex-wife on twitter randomly 
like we weren't even on a dating site. We just started interacting by random happenstance yeah. on Twitter. I mean, and that's cool, but you didn't have like I don't know if she had pictures or anything of no, herself. She, I mean, she had a picture of herself on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, I mean, it was just it was, and then like, and I've also I'm trying to think, have I? God, I met her, and that was so I wouldn't really count that as a dating site. I mean, we we met randomly, so that was online. But I've had actually. The last girlfriend I, the last like girlfriend I had, I did meet on a dating site. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously that didn't work out, but I was, tr- I'm trying to think if I've ever been gotten into a relationship other than that, and that lasted like a year, a little more than no, it wasn't even a year, eight, ten months. So I'm trying to think if I ever got into a relationship with anyone else off a dating site. Yeah, I don't know, man. But either way, it's like if you if you've been on enough, if you met one one that was a, a lasting relationship, I, I kind of feel like that's pretty good odds because I wouldn't expect the odds to necessarily be in your favor. You'd be in a relationship every other week, but for you to go on maybe I don't know fifteen. 20 and have one re- lasting relationship out of all of those me myself i've been on like maybe like 10 uh blind dates in my life and i had a five-year relationship out of them so i'm not gonna say that it's not possible i just can't i can't those odds are pretty good yeah yeah it's it's just it's a very it's a much of a it's a much of a suspect i know line. man the, the lows hit pretty hard man but the highs hit hard too so yeah, but if you're dredging through the swamp and you find like the lows a, hit hard, all you gotta do is find one diamond ring and you're rich. Yeah, but the highs hit hard, man. Because when you're getting your DS in the side of your your Kia, you're being like, <laughs> the side of your Kia. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for Jonas. Oh, yep. Yeah.